Hello everyone, my name is Rosie. Thanks so much for dropping by. This is a flip through and setup of my Hobonichi Weeks for 2022. So let's get this video started. I'm so excited to share with you all my Hobonichi Weeks setup for 2022. I love this thing, which is funny because since 2019, I've been trying the Hobonichi Weeks and I just haven't been loving it. 2019, I was using sticker kits and I just hated it. 2020, I don't know what happened. 2021, I just was going to use my Hobonichi Weeks as like a food, like meal planning, food log type of planner. And then it just wasn't working for me. And so when 2022 came around, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be using a Hobonichi Weeks as my everyday carry, my on the go, but gonna have it so messy and not care what it's gonna look like and primarily use pen and not that many stickers or no stickers. I am using stickers now. I initially didn't want to use stickers, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to. But anyways, that's not what this video is about, about using stickers or not. This video is a flip through and a setup of my Hobonichi weeks. So in the front here is this Midori clear strap and it's like an adhesive that you put on the cover of like any book or plastic or whatever. And so I got this clear one. I got it. I found, I saw it on someone's Instagram and um, I'll link her Instagram down below. And I talked to her like, what is that strap? And she told me it's from Midori. And then for the longest time, I could not find one online. I just like pretty much given up on it and bought like a whole Nation Weeks cover for it. But then I was in Vancouver and I was at a stationery shop and I found one and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. I actually got a black one too and this clear one, but the clear one's perfect. It's actually also a pen loop holder, but I like this pen loop because if I use this pen loop, um, I think it gets stuck on uh, the there's a thing here it actually gets stuck on the um, side I didn't really use it so I'll show you I just didn't like that look no. let me just put this down I just didn't like it on there it just looked weird um so um it can also act as a pen loop as well but I don't use it for that I just use the actual pen loop on the clear cover so yeah I just attached um one sticky thingy adhesive to the front and one in the back that comes with this button and it fits perfect. I know some people actually use this thing here and put like Velcro, but um, when I found, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I need that. So I just have a clear cover over it. Um, I love this Hobonichi Weeks because I don't technically need a clear cover because it's, it's a, the material is not cloth or leather. I'll just show you. The material is actually this glossy, um, like you can just wipe it down. So this is a blanket, so I'll just do that. Like you can wipe it down. It's really durable. Technically, you don't even need um, clear cover. You can just, you know, just put it in your bag like this. I like it because, um, I don't know, I just do. So, and I wanted a pen holder. But yeah, you technically don't need a clear cover or any cover for this Hobonichi Weeks. I also picked this Hobonichi Weeks because um, it just has the whole year, so six months in the front and six months in the back. Um, and so it'll be easier for me to take a look at like what day it is. So I know it's a Monday start kind of calendar. Today is Wednesday, so I know it's 12 today. So yeah, it's just a really convenient, super functional planner. And the story behind it is really sweet too. Um, I don't know what disability the initial artist of the like the penmanship who did the penmanship but I think he was had a disability I think it might have been down syndrome and he was learning to print and write and so when he achieved that goal to learn to write and print he actually um designed like the the calendar like he wrote all of this just for myself is really you know you know, tedious, but he, he did it. And you know, the story behind this cover is so sweet that I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just gravitated toward the look and the story of the leather. I mean the cover and also it has my initial. So <laughs> even though I am not the author, R is my initial is Rosie. And so that's what, um, yeah, I thought it was just so cute. I'm going to put these back so that you can see, um, look at like what, how we actually set it up like and so 
Again, this planner is super functional. It's not meant for like sticker kits or anything like that. It's just a, my functional, functional planner. So when you open it up, it has the pen loop and I have some sticky page flags here. I have this writing marker from Midori that I use throughout my planner. I'll show you when I hit the notes section. And then this is a Coffee Monster School sticker that says, I am beautiful. This was a gift from my friend Tom. She gifted that to me. Um, and then here is, I just taped this clear, like, um, not acetate. What is this? Is it acetate? Um, dashboard thing um, on here. I just use washi, but then I also reinforce it with like clear tape. You probably can't see it, but um, it just holds my inbox where I put sticky notes in because I found that the sticky notes don't really hold well on the actual like pages. It held, holds well, obviously with, with plastic and stuff, but um, I just reinforce it with that. And this just acts as where I put my sticky notes for like important stuff. What I also like about the clear cover, other than like, you know, um, like using a cover on cover type of deal, like a cover, like a, like putting this in like a home niche cover or a Motrum cover or anything like that. So I can actually put sticky notes in the front. So it's really convenient for me if I'm shopping and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to like, you know, and then I just have uh, the, this whole sticky wet notes really well. So I like ha having that. So that's my inbox. And then here's just um, a photo of uh, my family when we went to Mexico. And then here is a photo of uh, my daughters uh, when they went to go see Santa, which is funny because Santa was here on like the right side and because of, you know, COVID and like social distancing. So it was like a really funny photo because it's a picture of them and Santa on the right. But yeah, it's in this kind of like he's a pocket. So when you get a Hobonichi Weeks, you get a free pen and um, like a free pocket. So this is the pen that came with the planner. And this is like the adhesive pocket. And then um, here is the front page. I don't, some people put some vellum in there, but I didn't put vellum. But I just have some sticky notes that I got from Vancouver. I don't know where they're from. It's just like some stationery shop that had like really cute stuff. And a Midori sticky notes. And then here is, um, I don't know, I think, I don't remember where these sticky notes are from. Let me just see. I have like, I should just like share my whole Vancouver haul, but I think... Okay, so these sticky notes, I lied. Those are not majority sticky notes. So I have these sticky notes from the Daily Plan. And then these ones are the month long that I'm going to use as habit trackers. But because I got these in the, like a couple of weeks ago or like a week ago, I couldn't strut the habit tracker yet. So I will be doing that in February. And I have these sticky notes. Um, I don't know what they are or we're from art box um and then I just have it there that has like my vacation time my vacation hours that I have left for 2022 well this is like some white though um but yeah those are the sticky notes and then it goes into my tracking kind of planner so um I have never seen anyone do this with a tracker before but this is a period tracker but it's also a moon tracker and so I Okay. I've noticed that when a new moon is approaching or when I am like just getting my period, I always have more energy than like than the usual or when I'm ovulating, I have more energy. So this is pretty much to track my like energy level that's associated with the mood in my period log. So here it says, moon and period log, using the movement of the moon and my menstrual cycle to understand my body, plan, take control of how I feel, and have much better days. <laughs> so the blue is when pretty much when I'm PMSing. And that's when I'm like low energy, don't want to do anything. But I also have the moon tracker for the new moon. So which is funny here, for example. Um, I was PMSing, but I had more energy than usual because of the new moon. And then here's like my period. So that's the red. And then the blue is like danger. So like that's when I'm <laughs> ovulating. And then it goes again with when I'm PMSing. So I have a tracker. I have, I have a tracker called Flow on my phone. I'm using my phone to, to film this video. So I can't go into it. So I have the gray here, which is like 
the new moon energy. So that's when I get things done. That's when I plan. That's when I like get stuff done. Um, and then I also track my PMS. So that's when I'm like, okay, well, I know I'm not going to get that much done because I'm PMSing. Like, I'm like, like, just don't plan anything during this time because like, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be moody. I'm going to be like hungry. I'm just not going to be in a good mood. So that's pretty much what this is. And I hope that makes sense because yeah, it was just hard for me to explain. For me, it makes sense. Pretty much the gray is where I have energy. And then the blue arrow, like the lines is when I'm like in not in a good mood. <laughs> okay, so and then it goes into my monthlies. And my monthlies are messy. I know, but it, it works for me. So all the gray is when I have a day off. And um, I leave this section for like notes and to do's or anything like that. And then I have a tracker of like movement. And if you didn't get a chance to watch my like my Malden flip, I go into like how I hate exercising. I don't like I don't like sweating. I don't I don't like jacking my heart rate. I'm just I'm just not that type of person, but I need to move. So I have a tracker here of like walking more than 30 minutes um when I run. And I know I said I don't like running, but I I'm actually a pretty decent runner. So here is the one day I went running and I, I ran like five like five K like on a whim pretty much. And I was able to run the whole thing. I'm pretty fit, like is what I'm saying. And then yoga, and I didn't do any yoga in December. So that's pretty much it. My movement tracker, any notes and to-dos for the month, and then it just goes through like my appointments. So that's pretty much my monthly. And so my monthlies are here um, for this month for January, same thing, tracking, and then um, January to-dos and any like notes that I need to, to like, do for that month. And the thing is, with the Hobonichi Weeks, I was always so nervous of, like, making things look nice. And then I saw Sierra Plan's video and others who were just doing pen only or, like, not caring what their Hobonichi Weeks looks like. So I really embrace, like, not caring how it looked like. So this is this is the result, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's so liberating to, like, not care what aesthetically what your planner looks like, especially when you're using it for planning, because plans change. So I have the whole year pretty much filled out. My, my flex days were like, I have days off and like any stat holidays. And then it goes into, I think I planned until, yeah, the end of March pretty much. And it goes into my weeklies. And I got this planner uh, Christmas Eve. I ordered it like, I think it's like December 12th or something like that, like the beginning of December when it had already started because it starts like November 29th and then it has December. And so I was just like, okay, um, I t I'm not going to back plan because this is just, this is my planning planner. Like this is not my journal or anything like that. This is like my getting stuff done, hoping you should be planner. So I started on the day that I use it. I did that back plan the rest, like the beginning of the week because I don't like it. Like if it was empty, I kind of like to see a whole week at a glance. And so how I have it is everything that is gray here are like the days off. I also section out, um, so if you see here that, okay, let me just show you a blank page. So in the Hobonichi weeks, you have these like th two dots here that kind of like you're able to like divide the, the section to three. And then there's another line here that is super faint. And then I don't know if it's like on my eyes, if it's an illusion, but like, I don't know. I don't think there's, it's very faint, these lines here, and they line up perfectly. So like, you can literally write like Monday is this whole, whole section. Anyways, how I did it, rather than dividing it into three equal pages, is, I'll show you. I actually have this ruler. Where is my pencil case? Hold on, let me grab it. I actually have, oh, I just cracked my knuckle. Okay, I actually have, a, like, Oh my gosh, I'm like all over the map. I'm filming this on the floor. That's why I'm like bumping into things and like falling everywhere. Cracked knuckles. So what I do is I section it out right here. So where this dot is, and then I draw a line. Because when I have section it into three sections, my writing is way too big. Like it just doesn't look good. So what I do is I put it against this line here, this last kind of like divider line, and then write a line there. And that gives me enough space to write here and then write my day specific to do's on the right so that's pretty much how i um divide or you know set up my week and then here because like i said it there's like that faint line 
what I did was like I, I drew the line in pencil so this is in pencil and um right like put boxes in and then and this is pretty much like my highlight of the day gratitude or whatever like just things I can like you know he 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 like at the end of the day so so here I, I slept over Jamie's back a pizza game night and like just like the highlight of the day and then what I did here was I divided it here and there's no rhyme or reason how we divide it. I just divide it the way it is, just chance. I have to do's, to buy's and expenses. And this layout is, is, is doing it for me. Like I, this is the reason why I didn't like the whole Winichi weeks. I didn't like sticker kits and I didn't know what, to, like how to set up my week. And so after playing around with it and I had a whole Winichi weeks from 2021 and I, I barely used it, but I used up every week experimenting what layout worked for me. And this is the layout that works perfect for me. This is last week's and last week was crazy because, um, yeah, like Lauren got, okay. So Lauren got sick this week and then Annie got sick last week. So this is two weeks ago. Today's the 12th. This was like a crazy, crazy time here. And so, um, Again, I still divided it into like high level appointments and like thing, like high level things, daily specific stuff. And I still did my highlights of the day. And then I had my to do's. I put a weekly review this time because I had this space here that I didn't know what to do. So I put a weekly review. I put to a to buy list for that week and then a list of expenses. And then here is this week or last week. And again, high level things, the grays, the days off, like the like when I'm not working so you can see here I was like pretty much off all week and then here like I worked only two days and then again I divided it into two sections but this one's smaller because my to-dos are like you know longer than my appointments when I write it down and then um you know the highlights of the day and then the to buy I mean sorry to do to buy to go and expenses so that's pretty much my week. And then here's this week. And so this week is a lot cleaner, kind of, because this week is the first week that, you know, Annie goes back to school, Lauren goes back to school. And then I came home because this week here, these last two weeks, I was in Vancouver. I was like out of town. I moved back into my personal and I was using that as my like my dailies and then my, my work weeklies. So then everything was more like easier to plan about. Still messy still like super you know a lot going on but it's not as busy as like like this week here was just like a mess but I still liked it because the whole purpose of this whole Venetia weeks is messy planning messy real life planning so here's this week and then I also pre-planned um I always pre-plan a month in advance so I forgot here this gray thing here like these gray spots I forgot to mention so these gray spots are my husband's schedule and so um, that's like his schedule. You see here, there's no meals here. Like usually like, you'll see later because, oh my gosh, I can't talk. You'll see later that I'll need to meal plan when my husband's back. So these weeks I actually were not, was not in, in town. Like I was not home. Um, but here I'm at home, but my husband's still in Vancouver. So pretty much me and the girls, I could eat whatever. Next week though, my husband is back. So it's going to be more like this is more of what I'm going to be using. So because I'm more in more schedule next week, I have my to do's, I have to buy, I have my meals, my expenses, my goal, which is the film uh, YouTube video. I mean, I'm ahead of schedule. I'm I'm filming my weeks. I just filmed my unboxing and my my planner lineup. So I'm ahead of schedule actually. And I have a quick habit tracker and this isn't for like mental health or anything like that. This is to like get things done. Cause I always scramble the night before to like get the girls like backpacks and agenda signed and lunch is ready. And so this tracker is like what I need to like not make me go crazy. Again, it's divided the same way. Um, high level to do's, week day specific to do's, oh wait, high level appointments, daily specific to do's my husband's schedule which we don't know because he's in residency we literally get his schedule like two weeks or you know a week before his rotation starts and then like weekly stuff and I pre-planned until I think February yeah so again same deal same deal I have more habits now because I kind of want to like you know I want more habits 
and then um just experimenting with like lettering here and then the here i'm not happy with i don't know what happened here i got these brush pens and i regret using it like this is an eyesore to me i hate lettering and then um this, so this was like the soft brush tip and then this one is like like um the harder finer tip brush pen and then i think that's it yeah so that's that these stickers here are from um it came with the hobonichi weeks so that's that and then these tabs here also came with the hobonichi weeks so it matches like the front cover and the color scheme and then i think that's it for the weeks and you, you have the whole year until january in here january 1st of 2023 so in my notes section i i fill it out in a different way so usually people put like um their goals and stuff in the front but what I did was I went backwards so I actually didn't fill out most of these yet like the reference like information so I did fill out like reference information in the back here and then this is where I'm going to put like um important addresses and contacts and then references is just like the girl's stuff and all that but what I did is I did things backwards so I have daily specific stuff here so I know section pages 1 to 52 are daily to do's so these are all my daily to do's. It's just like a running log of like things to get done that day. So I did not use this on Monday, yesterday or today because I have my personal rings to get my work stuff done and I have my pocket rings. Where is it? Oh yeah, my pocket rings to get um, my home stuff done. So I don't really use this back anymore. This is probably when I am jotting things down when I'm like on the go or something. This is pretty much my daily stuff. So anyways, my daily stuff is pages 1 to 52. And then it goes into like the actual like index stuff. So page 52 are like my ortho, not mine, but Annie's ortho appointments and my RMT appointments. So my massage therapy, like registered massage therapy appointments. And then it goes into my memories and reflections. And I have it here. I have my 2022 goals and then my YouTube ideas. I have my wish list for everybody. It just goes into like actual stuff that I need for planning. And it is like the rest of it. So from 52 to 71 is just notes. So this is how I divided my notes. I have my wish list and I showed you that stuff. And then I have quality time. So another goal of mine is um, my relationship. So I have a tracker for like date nights and things and like some like ideas and like highlights of the year. I have um, like one-on-ones with Annie, one-on-ones with Lauren, one-on-ones with my other parents and with my friends. I try to see everyone once a month, which is hard because of COVID, but I really want to stay in touch with everybody. Um, here, my friend here is in, in Alberta and here is like my brother. He lives in Ontario. So, so at least I have a tracker to like, you know, for my relationships because my relations are super important to me next are just movies and shows movies with my by myself with jamie with annie with lauren and tv shows with like my family members i don't really watch tv by myself so like movies very rarely i watch movies by myself usually i have it in the background when i'm working but like even with my shows like i, I didn't leave any room and then tv shows don't really watch like tv shows with lauren and annie but i do have a section here most of the tv that i watch is with jamie my husband and then i have a list of books and the list of books that i'm going to read with lauren i read a lot of books with lauren but like i do it constantly like the same book constantly so even though it's like january 12th i read her every night i've read only these three books it's it's painful but she loves paw patrol which is fine she did we did read um I love you so much. The one with like little hair and like big hair, you know, like the bunny or like, I love you so much to the moon and back that book. I need to put that in here. I read that last night. Um, next is a house tractor and then someday maybe, which is like projects, car details, um, meal ideas, favorite restaurants, um, specific. So like specific stores where things are and then new restaurants that we tried and then my references. So yeah, pretty much my notes section is like in reverse to like what people usually do. And then here, my 100, I'm not, I don't have a hundred things I want to do, or I don't have that, but how I divided it was places, books, movies, and personal, like, like things that I try, like, oh, I went for a hike by myself for the first time. 
which I've never done. Usually I just bring the dog. That doesn't count as by myself. Um, yelling, Edward, Edward, he's behind me sleeping, but um, it doesn't really count as taking a hike by themselves. That's not really because I'm like taking care of like my dog. But anyways, personal stuff, movies, books, and places. And then just like, I don't know what this is. I don't read Japanese exercises. And then it goes to like, get my references and then my address and contact information. In the back here is another um, kind of like acetate from Michael's that I cut and washi and reinforced tape, scotch tape. And then the, these um, sticky notes from Midori. I will show you the, I think it's in here. Yeah. These Midori sticky notes. I love these Midori sticky notes. They're so functional. And then I have this Hobonichi um, notebook, which is like important notes. And here, obviously it's not important. It's just like the list of inserts that I have for each planner and like planners to buy. But yeah, that's pretty much it for <laughs> important notes. And then I have these stickers that came with my planner, uh, Hobonichi stencil and these Midori stickers. I primarily used it for Annie's like flute lessons. And then um, I have like, yeah, like these ones. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for my Hobonichi Weeks flip through setup. That was, this is a long video. I thought it was going to be 10 minutes. But yeah, that is my <laughs> Hobonichi for 2022. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to. It's like adhesive from like the sticky note. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like button and think about subscribing as well. But yeah, until next time, you guys. Bye.